Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm Obita Show 21. So with today's no money spent, we did we did some grinding mainly yesterday. You know, we did a lot of event grinding. So we did end up getting 40 wins and got that Miguel Cabrera card. We also did some of the new content that dropped today. So we're going to go over all of that and kind of why you should do that. So let's first start off with the new content. Why not? So there is the player program for Houston Street. Now, I didn't complete it yet, but I probably will later tonight. I did do all the moments, though. And the moments, they're all pitching moments. I don't think these take that long. You know, I think I did them within like 15 minutes, probably even less, to be honest. So the moments weren't really that bad. And then, as I mentioned earlier, if you guys check like the updated content video, then there's two other ways you can finish this off. Either defeating the Padres on all-star difficulty versus the CPU which is probably what I will end up doing. But the reason I didn't do it yet, I, I want to play a little bit more showdown and get some more team affinity progress and then use those players from those packs and do some extra missions with them. So that's the reason I didn't do this yet. Or you can just go online, try to tally a save with the Padres best suited in events. You know, I think that would be the quickest or just tally in 10 strikeouts with relief pitchers. But this Houston Street card does look pretty good, has really good hit per nines. Pitch repertoire is not bad. We'll definitely have this tomorrow. And then the next thing is, or just kind of continuing on with that, you definitely want to do that because of the first inning program and the amount of XP that you get for that. Now, I don't need XP. I have it maxed out at 650K. But for you guys that definitely still need XP, it's definitely worth doing for just that alone. So it's part of the collection, 35,000 XP. Definitely, definitely a nice boost. And then speaking of XP, there's another new conquest map. And this is the Umbrella Conquest. This gets you 15,000 XP. So we did end up doing this. So this is what the board looks like. You know, you can, you pretty much can attack any single position you want. But because every single territory is already taken, the amount of times you have to sim, you know, kind of prolongs this Conquest map. And it makes it, I feel like, a little bit longer than necessary. You got six games you have to play plus a Steel Fan Phase. So that is this gold right here. It also gets you a show pack and you have to steal 4 million fans and you can play that. You can either play one game on Hall of Fame or two games on Veteran and get it done that way. But as far as like the board goes, there's not really any guy. Just go in one direction, fill up that section, go on to the next se section and keep going around and doing the sections. There are some hidden packs here, so I'll put that on screen. Nothing too crazy. You know, a few, a few show packs which we will open up. We do have some other packs too, I guess. I mean, you do get a good amount of just packs in general, but as far as like hidden rewards, there's not that much. You do get a ball and is a habit though for completing the board, which is definitely nice. So we'll see if it's worth it because if we pack a diamond, it's always worth it. But there's that. And then let's just open up the packs first because I kind of want to see what we can get and then we'll go over some other stuff. So yeah, we got 10 show packs, one ball and is a habit. And then while we were doing Conquest, we were using our, our ball player. I don't know. Yeah, I can show you guys. So we were using our ball player, our hitter, and we got some Diamond Dynasty progress done, I guess. I didn't realize I was this high up with him, but I guess we got 40 hits. And wow, we don't even have that many extra base hits. I don't know how we have 40 hits. You know, I feel like this glitched because <laughs> I don't know if I have 40 hits with him, especially with this task right there, but... You know, I think we're like midway through. Yeah, we're at 48. I honestly might do the road to the show method again to, you know, level this guy up and get him to diamond. That's something I might do tonight, you know, after we do some showdowns and all that stuff. But we do have that. And then I will say, I'll put this on screen, but there's these equipment packs. They're choice packs. I opened one up earlier thinking they're just like this. I ended up getting a diamond round. So I got, I think the back rip and then I sold that. So I'll, I'll put that up on screen so you guys can see the image of it. But I thought these were just silvers, to be honest. So now we got a silver perk. These are all power. Um, I'm not really going to look through these like crazy because they're just silver versions. And I'm pretty sure eventually we'll get these. And then you got the gold equipment. Give me that back rip. No back rip, but those weights, those weights definitely look up there in price. 1,300. We'll take that. Now on to the show packs. So I'm pretty sure all of these... Either they come from the conquest board or just from grinding events because like I said, we did get 40 wins. So there is like packs along the way from that. 
which is nothing like really really crazy but you know you do get stuff and i'm pretty sure i have my volume off so i hope that's <laughs> that's not an issue but you know with packs stubs are stubs <laughs> stubs are stubs but when you get a diamond it's even better come on now let's get something good let's get something juicy hey we got a hitter this is like our first time getting a hitter minus tim salmon but can this be someone good uh, DJ LeMahieu, we'll take that. I was kind of hoping it would be Aaron Judge if it was a Yankee, but DJ LeMahieu is still really nice. I'm, I'm all, I'm all for that, all for that right there. So, man, I feel like we've been pulling a lot of diamonds. Like my pack luck is actually decent. We have packed a lot of pitchers, but I mean, almost every no money spent video we're getting a diamond. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. I definitely did not expect this. But this is goes back to like my rule number one. Chase the free packs and you'll get rewarded. Maybe not as much as I have so far. Like I feel like we've, we've been doing all right. But you know, chase the free packs and eventually you will get rewarded. Catch a hot streak and just start pulling diamonds. I hope I just didn't peak too soon with like all the diamonds we're pulling. But you know, as far as it goes, like right now, things are looking pretty nice. We got Rosario right there. So just a gold we can end up selling. And then the last show pack for us, another diamond, two diamonds and 10 packs? Give me that. Give me a, oh, another hitter. Another hitter, I think. No, that's a pitcher because he got the glove. Um, either, either Bieber or, yeah, it's Bieber again. Hey, we're going to sell him. That's some extra stubs right there. That's definitely some, some extra stubs. But once again, going back to the pitchers, hey, free packs. You know, th these packs are probably from the Conquest board. He goes for 25K, 100% selling him. I mean, we have to sell him. It's a dupe. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we sell Bieber. We got to check the market. But maybe we sell Bieber and do the Indians collection. I was going to say, if like the ball is a habit, hook this up with a diamond, that would be kind of crazy also. So let's uh let's go to events really quick and then we'll look at the market and stuff. So as far as events go, we got this whole one. There's part two out right now. So because there's part two, I kind of unnecessarily grinded out all day yesterday to 40 wins. But then again, you know, we got the reward. So now we don't have to worry about events. So let's see. We did get John Smoltz and he goes for around 16K. Um, I actually think I sold him under that. <laughs> I think I sold him under that. And then we got Miguel Cabrera. He goes for 66K. I might have sold him under that also. But we did get 40 wins. See, there's some show packs here that you get. Actually, only one. Maybe two. Nah, I think only one is from here. So pretty much the other nine, I think, are from the Conquest board. So the fact that we got two diamonds from Conquest, really nice. <laughs> but coming back to this, we did get 40 wins. We got Miguel Cabrera. We got John Smoltz. And I did put them up on the market, but you do want to try to get as many diamonds as you can. And you know, this, this event ends on May 7th. The reason I sold today is because by the time May 7th hits, I'm assuming those prices are going to dip, you know, for the players, maybe we pick them back up then, but we definitely will debut them at some time. So now let's take a quick look at the marketplace. So completed orders. Wow. I undersold Miggy. I undersold Miggy. He's like 66 K. Hmm. Maybe I sold him too quick. <laughs> Maybe I sold him too quick. I got him today and sold him, you know, a few hours ago, I guess. But he was at 66K. So, I mean, we lost like 8K right there. But I don't know. Like, I, I think his price is definitely going to dip down. Like I said, the event ends on May 7th. So plenty of people will still be able to get that card and, you know, probably sell him. But as of today, like, I definitely undersold him. And then John Smoltz, we kind of undersold him by a thousand or so. So going back to like the other day when we got the diamond equipment, we did sell pretty much all of that stuff except the perks. I still have the diamond perks. So those could be like another, you know, 10K. And I think I have two or three of them. But we sold like all the actual equipment items. And, you know, there's the catcher's mask for 15K. We got the pro limited glove for another 15K. The cleats for 33K. And then this is the back rip I pulled earlier because I thought it was just a random equipment pack. That was 18K. So our stub count jumped up pretty high, which is definitely not bad. And now we have a Shane Bieber card from the Indians that we can sell for 28K. 
we might as well put him up and then i don't know maybe we get jose ramirez you know we definitely can do that i don't think that's a bad idea we'll just list him up right now because i don't need him so yeah i think i think that's not bad you know like i said we've been pulling a good amount of diamonds jose is definitely a possibility we're sitting pretty nice right now at 620k so you know we can maybe go out do the indians I still want to do the White Sox too. You know, I think I, yeah, I need Jose Abreu pretty much. So he's, he goes for 20K. Jose goes for, you know, 30K. That's 50K. I mean, if we spend like 60K on these two collections, I think we're done with the Central. Yeah, we got the Royals. We got the Twins done. And we got the Tigers done. Maybe we spend 60K, get that Bob Feller and have one of the collections completely done. But, you know, getting these two diamonds today, definitely not bad and then going back to collections since yesterday we hit 100 percent in the program we had that free live series choice pack and we took chris sale which now i think was a mistake because freddie freeman cost a little bit more than chris sale today but we did finish up this collection right here so we are gonna get wow he's like 30k right now man these prices like they're going up and down up and down so much that i don't really know right now but we did we did do this collection so we are going to collect this we're going to get this lefty grove card which doesn't look bad 120 stamina 91 hit per nine 78 walk per nine and 77 k per nine um i don't know his pitch repertoire just looking at that screen but his pitch repertoire 95 fastball 82 curve 87 fork 85 change up and like i said i think yeah i mean if we do the white Sox and the indians then we're done with this collection we can get this bob feller card so maybe that's something we uh we look at for tomorrow to be honest because i'm pretty i'm pretty happy with where our stubs are like if i really wanted to i think 620k is enough to do the whole american league now i obviously don't want to wipe out my stubs because my main rule was to always have like a minimum threshold that's being 100k for me plus we still have to buy the bosses from the first inning program so that's probably at least like 100, 120K. That's kind of reserved for that. But honestly, by by maybe next week, like next Friday, depending on the content and stuff, we'll probably get David Ortiz next week, I think. You know, and then obviously if we keep pulling diamonds, we're going to try to finish Showdown the next couple of days. We'll get even more packs if we pack more diamonds. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But let's see, for Yankees right now, I really want to do the Yankees. You know, I kind of want to get this collection done. He goes for 87K. Judge goes for 36. And Chapman, 30. What's a DJ app? DJ is at 19. So that's a possibility. But Yankees are a little bit more expensive. I think right now, like, our, our next choices are the Indians, the White Sox, and maybe the A's. But someone told me, like, Chapman's not really hitting that well. I haven't looked at his numbers. But, you know, I don't know if I want to want to buy him if he can maybe get downgraded on Friday because on Friday there's going to be a roster update, which means there's going to be a change in attributes and some players might get upgraded to gold or diamond. Some players might lose their, their rating and get downgraded. So I don't know if I like really want to wait until Friday or just like go all out right now and do those three collections before Friday. So I guess I guess we'll kind of sit and wait and see what what we end up doing for tomorrow but as far as like that goes we got team affinity right so team affinity progress we're at 66 percent right here so we got 99 with the al central maybe we will definitely knock one of these out tomorrow like 66 percent we'll definitely do the al central so that's gonna give us how many packs for tomorrow we'll have we'll have three bullet as a habit and then 10 team affinities with all the other stuff right here so we'll definitely try to get this done and then maybe we start working on another one of these getting some more progress and at the very minimum you know like another ball and is a habit right here maybe these five team affinities so at least like 10 to 15 team affinities around four ball and is a habit i think that's what we're trying to get for tomorrow and then also getting that houston street and maybe a little bit of the like the road to the show equipment to get some extra stubs but right now like i think we're doing really good and once again just to check the bosses and see what these prices are going for because a lot of xp dropped today so i'm assuming a lot of people are getting these 
and a 39k so like my minimum price hold was 35k i was saying you know they're probably gonna go and dip under 35k so the program ends in nine days and there's still double xp so a lot of xp is still coming in like i got so much like i was maxed out yesterday but i also got like a ton afterwards just from playing events and then doing you know the the missions the conquest and even if I, I do that collection today for Houston Street, that, that would be another 35K. So there's a ton of missions that came in today. But I think I think on Friday is when we'll go ahead, buy these three bosses. And that will kind of prepare us a little bit for the second inning program. If it does drop in nine days, they might extend this one a little bit. Who knows? Because the servers have been a problem. But there is, like I said, a lot of ways to get XP right now. So you want to do all that. With you know double double XP still going on, but that's gonna do it for this one. You know I think I think we're making good steady progress, and <laughs> yeah, I'm just like I'm surprised the diamonds keep coming in. Like in ten packs, I didn't even think I would pull one, and we ended up pulling two diamonds. So that was that was kind of crazy right there. But tomorrow, I actually might have a rank seasons gameplay. I think I think that's the plan because we do got to start grinding that out. We also just got to do battle royale. So we can try getting this done right here. I want I want this Orhe Soler card because that's extra stubs too. You know, these are stubs and there's a new program coming out, I think, you know, in the next three days too. So we definitely want to get this 50k in the bank. Like that's that's good stubs right there. And then obviously if we can get this also along the way, another 70k. So why not go after those stubs? That's what, like 130k, 100, 130k just sitting on the table that we'll get in the next three days too so yeah like i said we're in a really good spot right now we'll definitely start filling up collections you know the rest of this week going on to next week my goal was always to have collections done by the end of may like we're we're in a good spot <laughs> we're in a good spot so that's gonna do it for today's no money spent most likely we'll have some kind of gameplay tomorrow i don't know if it's gonna be ranked seasons maybe we throw up a battle royale maybe we do both i don't know but we'll definitely have some type of gameplay tomorrow as well as another no money spent. So stay tuned for that. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, drop a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out.